Starting lineups and a kickoff when we return as Ally presents the NWSL on CBS Sports. Be more aggressive with their approach. McCaskill will have freedom to roam as Johnson at times will drop deep and Thompson will get in behind. In possession, Colaprico allows them to dictate the tempo a bit more, but it also allows for more players to get forward into the attack. San Diego with possession, crosses coming from the left, headed wide. Van Eggman was there. Quality cross. Move the ball side to side, and there's McNabb that gets higher up the field. Find a little bit of space as Julia bites. Shaw finds the space in behind her. And they have to do a better job. Angel City of marking. It's been Eggman free inside the box. Has to put that one on target. Real again, that's blocked. It's off McCaskill. Germa out of Stanford, second year in the league. Van Eggman from distance. And it's caught by Heritage. You wouldn't think Heritage would be beaten from that distance, but that was a pretty good shot. No, certainly not, but I'm really loving the the positioning, the spacing that Van Eggman is picking up, some of the, the spots that she's finding, because we talked about Cola Perico and not able to get on the ball right now. Angel City obviously targeting her, not wanting her to be able to dictate tempo. Van Eggman's popping off into the midfield, finding some space, and just with the amount of numbers so good with their box organization, San Diego, it's really where they've made it difficult for, for teams to play against them. Tough to find those moments centrally. That's a foul and maybe more. Yellow card coming. Should be. We've seen this a few times for both teams, just trying to play out in dangerous areas, getting caught. Enforcing the foul. It will be a yellow card. Should have been. Cutting ball ahead to McCaskill. That's cut off by Van Eggman. Colaprico, good first ball. And then Morgan in the box, the shot, Morgan! Close call. Really good off of the initial ball in, and then it's Alex Morgan, just holds her ground, forces Gordon have to come over as Vic Nola in the ball, and I'm not sure how that's not a foul. Casco, Thompson. Thompson, curling went in, that's headed up the middle. Settled there, pushed wide by Vignola for Emsley. Versus Westfall, Emsley in the box, cutting, wants it on the right foot, it's blocked. On that left side, driven in wide. Vignola from an angle. Well, the patience and the ability to, to win this ball back and not allow San Diego to be able to clear their lines allows for Nola to be able to get into a higher position. She's the one that gets on the end of this and that makes its way through. Just trickles wide. With the capability of Julie Ertz getting beyond in between the defense and Kaylin Sheridan, but also just with the, the presence of some of the others. You have Jakobsen on the field now. Rachel Hill is going in the yep. referee's book. Real was back there defending. Now it's Jakobsen. Swedish International had it knocked away. She's been in three Women's World Cups. Well, that's how they're going to break down San Diego defensively because they're compact. They're compact narrowly inside their box. And to find those little runners, this little slip ball into Emsley. Have to have the runners, whether it's cut back. Real is in a good position to clear that out of danger. Johnson. Thompson on the run. Inside the box, try to play for McCaskill, try to finesse that ball in. Quick shot taken when Johnson was blocked and then cleared away by San Diego. Played off. And then collected. Turnbull wanted it, but let's go back the other way to Gurma. Van Eggman. 68th minute. I thought when we saw Endo warming up that we were going to see her soon. Still on the scene. Right side run. Morgan cutting. Finally tackled away, but a quick shot from distance. That's wide. It was off Doniak. Sent wide by Colaprico. And upfield. 
It is San Diego. Doniak leading the way. Right side, Jakobs into the box. Cutting, looking, shooting. And there's the goal, the first one. From the sub, Jakobsen. Great understanding for Westfall just to drive. Pulls Vignola inside, and then Jakobsen with the presence of mind to cut back across the momentum of Vignola. And then just gets her head up, fires that one past Heracic. A great run of, out of the, gets the run of play. Finish from Jakobsen, the Swedish international. I'm not so sure if Heracic was screened. It's floated up by Van Eggman. Headed away, Jakobsen, that cross, headed away, then Thompson flicks it. Kota Pico was battling for it. June Endo, Japanese international, had a good rookie year last year. City, just playing it there. Shot from distance, uh, took a deflection, and that's the second goal. The deflection changed everything there, and it is all San Diego right now. Doniak and company helping out. Nothing Harry Cheech could do once that ball was deflected. Yeah, to be able to, to try to win that ball initially, and then the second attempt does, and understanding of her and Alex Morgan, Doniak just goes herself and takes the unfortunate bounce and deflection off of Sarah Gordon. And then we'll see about stoppage time. Driven in by Camaros. Just missed by Sheridan and some Angel City players. Excellent ball. Excellent ball in. And Spencer, that's blocked. Blocked as well by Sheridan. Should be a corner. Yeah, excellent ball in, and it just needed for Spencer just to pull her, her run a little bit wider earlier on, just recognize where the ball is coming through. Does well to get down the end of it. Katie Johnson just far past the near post. Endo drives it. He's punched away. McCaskill's after it. A lot of stoppage time on the board. For positive points, it's getting Julia Ritz into the lineup for Angel City. That's one, but won't be happy with the play in the attacking third for sure. Well, I also think just the way that they've conceded the goals because they, they did enough to put pressure on San Diego, and you know it's going to take time to be able to continue to, to build relationships as early on in the season to, to find what group of players is the best mix and what they need against certain teams and opposition. Nice ball cut back by Ando. And that's high over the bar. But I think it's the way that they've conceded the goals for Angel City. One in transition, she spoke to us directly about that. And then a giveaway trying to build out of the back that put themselves under pressure. And two chances for San Diego that they capitalized on. It's not the first time we've seen that for Angel City in this season. Now they're having to chase this game after having more of the control, better opportunities. She talked with us the other day about gifting goals. Yep. To the opposition they've done that defend going forward might be the last kick of the game or close to it as it's grabbed by sheridan we're beyond six minutes that was the last kick of the game big road win for the san diego wave